Stop number 27, I believe, in the Cashel GTX Cup Series brings us to Dover Downs International Speedway in Dover, Delaware. As we are here today for the running of the Peak Andy Breeze 400 in Light Richmond, the last race on the tour. We are going 60 laps today on this racetrack here. Here, 41 shiny, here, 41 shiny Chevrolets, Pontiacs, Fords, it's Oldsmobiles, Buicks. Here, Buicks all lined up and ready to go. Engines all tuned up and these. Well, these giant-ass cars, they can't really see. Yeah. <laughs> you get the idea. <laughs> Sound bite courtesy of Dale Hart Jr., I guess. But anyway. Uh, so anyway, we are here today for the running of the Peak Andy Freeze 400. Here's the lineup for this running event. On the pole, it is Levi McIntyre in car 17. He'll be alongside Zach Rogers, the car 33, the, two, the top two drivers in the points. Coming into this race here at Dover, and McIntyre's the points leader. Rogers has won three times this season so far. <clears throat> Row two sees Jessica Shelton in car number nine, and the winner of this season at Richmond, the first race at Richmond, should be alongside Seth Cole in car 52. Seth has not won yet this season. Third row sees the three time winner, since two time winner season so far, Quentin Moore in car 26, and car 28, Keith Batson, also a two time winner. Next row down has Mike Becker, who won the night race at Bristol this season in car 43. He'll be back with this car next season, I believe, uh, whichever mod that we'll do next. He'll be alongside car number four. It is William Brock in the Kodak Del Mosmobile. <clears throat> next row down sees Joshua Osborne in 25, the Folger Chevrolet. He won at Riverside. Next row down sees, alongside him, I should say, sees Nathan Orman in car number 88. Next row down sees Cole Beaver in car three, the two a two time winner season so far. He won at New Hampshire and at in, Rock in Rockingham in the Goodrich Chevrolet. Phil Parker sits alongside of him in car number five. The next row sees two of our in-car cameras. Levi, Ma or I should say Matt McIntyre in car 18. He won the season at Talladega. He also won the Southern 500 at Darlington. He's on the outside of this row. Inside of him is the winner at Sonoma, Kyle Matthews in car 42. Both he and Matt carrying in-car cameras in today's event. Next row sees Kev Shearer in 71. And number 90, Jesse Turner. And the next row down sees number 15, Jackson Haywood, who won the first stop at Pocono. He'll be alongside Kat Batson, who won the season at Martinsville. And we'll be heading to Martinsville next on the tour after this. Next row down sees car number 30. It is Jay Jefferson, and the, and the, the winner of the season at the Brickyard 400. And two-time winner, Johnny Gardner. He won the at Michigan. He also followed that up with the winner of the Pepsi 400 at Daytona. Next row down sees car number 14, Kyle England. And alongside of him, their third in-car camera. Lies inside Dylan Young's car. Car number two, the J.D. Stacey Buick. <laughs> Next row sees Zachary Fitzwater in 29 and Charles Sanford in 24. Next row sees number 51, Alex Naylor, and number 12, Rob Evans. Matt Haas in car number eight and number 47, Nathan, or Nathan Hudson sits in the next row. Next row down after that will be car 94, Ryan Brommer, and car number 55, Henry Sanford. Next row down sees number one, Zach Winkle, the Daytona 500 champion. He'll be alongside Daniel Bouchard in car 75. <clears throat> Next row, he's another two-time winner, Jean Sanford, number 50. She won in Atlanta, and she also won a 600 at Charlotte in the Performance Connection Pontiac. She'll be alongside car number 13. It is Austin Colano. Next row down, has Emmanuel Harden in car number 83, and Paul Minnick in the, in the Starlight Ford, car number 6. He won a season in a second stop at Talladega. Next row, he's R.J. Bishop in 27, and number 70, Mitchell Collins. Next row sees Ryan George in 44, and beside him will be car number 7, Wes McCoy. And starting shotgun of will be car number 22, Dylan Poteet from way out back in 41st starting position. He's in car number 22, the Miller American Buick. So the field lined up for racing here today at Dover Downs International Speedway here. And I'll tell you, the first lap ought to be interesting because we mentioned McIntyre, Levi McIntyre is the points leader coming into this event. He's not yet won this season, but Zach Rogers, he knows Zach Rogers is closing up in that number 33 car. He's still about well more than 200 points behind, but but the way he's running right now compared to Levi, Levi knows he's got to possibly get a good run, maybe finish ahead of him if he at all possibly can. We don't have any races, late, many races to go, but Zach, as I said, is closing up in the points. Here comes the command to fire the engines here at Dover. So all in all, that first lap ought to be interesting to see. It ought to be interesting to see who who leads that first lap of this event. 
at Dover's the field rolls off on the pit on the, the racetrack here. They don't call this track the Monster Mile for nothing. It chews up cars and spits them out, much like Bristol. Will it be a wreck fest or will it be a clean race? Who will get caught up in somebody's mess and who doesn't? We'll find out after this. Back at Dover Downs International Speedway in Dover, Delaware here. The field begins to roll in turn number three. It is a Chevrolet and Buick on the front row for this event here. GM has the sweeps the front row spots. And then you got a Ford starting in third position. Pontiac in fourth and a Buick in fifth. As the field comes off corner number four here. Pace guard looks up on the pit road as the peak any freeze 400 is about to commence. As Levi McIntyre leads up, will lead him down. Let's see who leads the first lap of this race here. Green flag is out. We're racing at Dover. Again, our in-car cameras in today's event will be carried by Dylan Young, Kyle Matthews, and um, and uh, Matt McIntyre. Those three guys will be carrying our in-car cameras here. It looks like Levi might not lead the first lap. After all, here comes Jessica Shelton to the low side in car number nine. She'll pull to the low side of McIntyre, and Jess will lead the first lap of this race. So Jessica Shelton takes the lead. Quentin Moore goes up to second position in car 26. And here comes number 43, Matt, uh, Mike Becker. He'll move, up in the move up in, he'll move up in the third position. Here comes Quentin Moore to the low side of Shelton as they come off turn number four. And Quentin Moore will take the lead here. Shelton leads the first two laps this race here. She's dropped back to third position, maybe down the fourth as she as well. She blocks Joshua Osborne's way, and, and Osborne will slide in the fourth position. Here comes the, here comes three wide off turn number four. Keith Batson almost got turned. He'll dive. He'll keep on the car on the low side. He'll he'll escape disaster. Now, meantime, William Brock is up in the high side of disaster. But he keeps in line now as he falls in behind the 71 car of Keb Shearer. And here comes the points contenders here. They're running right there together. Levi knows he's got to finish ahead of Zach Rogers if at all possibly can to try to keep his keep Rogers from gaining any more points on him, though. But Zach has one of the best cars right now at the moment, though. As I mentioned, he's won three times this season so far, including capturing <coughs> wins at Watkins Glen, Michigan, and the first time he was at Dover. So Zach's looking Zach is looking for the Dover sweep. This season, can he do it today? Well, we'll find out. But um, it's going to be interesting to see. It's going to be interesting to see how this all plays out in these last few races. We go to Martinsville next on the tour, and after that, will be the last short track race at North Wilkesboro uh, this season at North Wilkesboro. Then it'll be on to Charlotte, Rockingham, Phoenix, and Homestead. That's the remainder of the season for season twenty-five of the Casual GTX Cup Series. Season, and speaking of car number, tw and speaking of number. Tw and speaking of number 25, Joshua Osborne takes car number 25 to second place at the moment. And here they come, three wide out there behind. And yellow flag has flown for the first time today here at Dover. And they are three wide. Rogers right in the middle between, or was in the middle between. Well, there's a reason why there. It was Wes McCoy and um, Ryan George. <clears throat> that has caused the first yellow flag of the day here, and several cars had to go to the inside, or had to go to the outside to try to miss those two. And several, oh, that, that was more than just those two. Take a look as to what happened. They come off turn number four. Emmanuel Hartnett and um, got together with Keith Batson, got here, and so did this 18 car of um, Matt McIntyre. Hartnett goes to the inside wall, goes back up the track, and I see, does he get Batson? Nobody gets R.J. Bishop. Poe Teat was moving up through the field nicely, and he gets caught up. There's uh, Wes McCoy gets involved. There's um, 47 card. Nathan Hudson is involved. Rob Evans involved, and someone's upside down. That's Ryan George who's upside down. Dana Bouchard caught up, so is Austin Colano, Mitchell Collins, Charles Sanford. I don't know if he's got any damage to the 24 car or not. Oh, I think Charles is going to escape okay, I think. Uh, 
I think some of the other cars that were that were that were in the crash or not though. They, I think that some of them are, are going to escape very nicely. There's R.J. Bishop. He got he got through the crash okay. But he's out of the race there. So R.J. Bishop, along with Emmanuel Hardnett and Ryan George, out of the race here. Wes McCoy is going to be the, is going to be the car on the inside lane. So the inside cars on the they're on the tail end of the lead lap. They're going to be a bit. They sometimes are a bit of a nuisance to the leaders, I guess you could say there. But but that's the way that's the way they're lined up here. As my as R. J. Bishop, or I mean uh, Wes McCoy, excuse me, in the seven car is two laps down in thirty eighth position. So he'll start inside of Mike Becker. Some of the drivers like my, uh, Rob Evans, uh, Nathan Hudson, Austin Colano, Charles Sanford, Dana Bouchard have all made it through unscathed here so mike becker's the leader second position is osborne then it's deaver mcintyre levi mcintyre it is rogers matthews haywood moore Shear, and shelton the top 10 the green flag flies we're backing away on lap number 12 here at dover Osborne caught on a high side here. Deaver's going to get pushed from Levi McIntyre. That's for second place here as he gets as Deaver takes second position, I should say, away from Osborne. Zach Rogers caught him behind Osborne and Wes McCoy. Again, Wes is um, two laps down in this race here in, in, the, in the seven car. The Xerox Ford. And here comes Keb Shear down to the low side. He'll look low on Zach Rogers as he's in the middle of a three-way situation between Rot between him, Shear, and Osborne. As they come off turn number four, Shear and Rogers get together, but no incident. I guess in some ways, and that's going to let the inside lane train on by here. Rogers, Shear, Shelton, and Seth Cole. In the meantime, Keith Batson's moved the 26 car Quentin Moore up the track. Mike Becker continues to lead the race here, and now you see the cars come off turn number two here. On board with Kyle Matthews in car 42. He runs in fourth position. Runs right there behind his fellow Buckeye, Levi McIntyre. Both from the southern part of Ohio, but they're, but they're different parts of Ohio. Southeast Ohio is where, is where Matthews lives, and southwest Ohio is where um, McIntyre lives. No, I should say southeast Ohio is where McIntyre lives. Southwest Ohio is where uh, Matthews lives, excuse me on that one. I had the whole thing reversed, but anyway... But now Matthews drops back a little bit here as Jackson Haywood and Kev Shear both move by as they come off turn number four. Shear moves up to the fifth position. Matthews down to sixth, and Matthews pushes Shear down the track here as they come off to, as they come off, as they go into turn number one. And now it's Levi McIntyre's caught up to the high side and make my first for him. Zach Rogers is on the low side of the track, but McIntyre squeezes him in between Haywood and Kev Shear. As meantime, Cole Deaver tries to find any. Weakness out of the 43 car of Mike Becker. Becker won the season at the Nightmares in Bristol. Here comes David Deaver to the low side. He'll look low and takes the lead away from Mike Becker. So move the Dale Earnhardt GM Goodwrench cars up to the front spot. Both of Deaver's wins have been on one mile tracks. He won at Rockingham in the first race over there, and he also won at New Hampshire. Or the man from the state of Georgia up front right now as he comes off turn number two. Haywood up to third position. Jackson Haywood having a, another pretty good run here today as he is up to third position now. And that's the other Dale Earnhardt cars, the number 15 Wrangler Jeans Ford circa 1982 up to the, to the third position right now. Seth Coles in sixth position. Seventh is Zach Rogers. Eighth position right now. Is Kyle Matthews ninth is is Joshua Osborne in tenth position is Keith Badson with Jay Jefferson running eleventh twelfth is Johnny Gardner thirteenth is William Brock Dylan Young of the fourteenth position having a pretty good solid 
outing. Jessica Shelton caught up to the high side now, as you see, um, as you see, Jesse Turner and Gene Saber trying to get by. And now Samper, Gene Samper, that is, tries to get by Shelton. Now Shelton has dropped to the has now dropped to the 16th position, maybe 17th right now. Matt Haas is back there, so is the 26 car of Quentin Moore and <coughs> and uh, 29 car of Zachary Fitzwater. As they come off turn number four. In the meantime, Cole Beaver now has lost a lead to Mike Becker, and Becker's back out, out front. Here comes Kev Shearer to the low side in the 71 car to Buckstoke Oldsmobile up to the in down to the low side of the track here. And they're gonna be side by side for a few rows here, like it's a 160 mile an hour pace lap happening. And we're already uh, have we have already now completed 24 laps. It'll be 25 this time by. And 35 laps remaining in this race here. Mike Becker has won here at Dover before in this series and knows how to get it done. Driving the King Richard Petty colors this season. That car has been very strong since it switched uh, body styles from the 87 body style to the 1990 body style. And that car has been very strong uh, ever since. Deaver, meantime, has moved up the track here. As you see, um, Zach Rogers, Keith Batson, and Kyle Matthews, and Johnny Gardner down the low side. Dylan Young's also in there in the in the number two machine. He's also moved his way up to the field nicely. On board with Dylan Young in car number two. He runs right now in 13th position. Up ahead, Johnny Gardner and Cole Deaver, 11th and 12th, respectively, as they come up through off turn number two. Dylan would like to keep that car on the low side to try to gain positions here as he as he now looks low on the Mountain Dew Buick of Johnny Gardner. Off in the turn number three, and now Batson gets into the truck, as does Levi McIntyre and Jackson Haywood. You saw the speed of Dylan Young going into turn number three, 168 miles an hour. And that is, and they, they are very fast here at Dover. 165 was the pole speed for this event. Actually, I should say 164 was the pole speed for this event. They're running laps up over 165 miles an hour right now. In fact, the fastest lap race so far is set by Jesse Turner at 165.244. In fact, the top three cars have hit 165 on this race here. Here, Jesse Turner, Kev Shear, Quentin Moore, and Dylan Young. In my meantime, you see low side. Kyle Mendes gets punted up the track here as Dylan Young and Johnny Gardner battle it out for position. Well, I tell you, you get, you get really nervous when they go three wide off turn number four at Dover because you know disaster can strike off that fourth corner at Dover. It can strike off turn number two as well sometimes. And we've seen disastrous in turn number one as well. And more often than not, in, if you see our races here in the NSCRA, <clears throat> when they when they crash off turn four, sometimes the crash does not end until they go into turn until they go through it does not end until they are in turn number one. Or sometimes between one and two. Then um when it's all said and done, though, the crash usually ends up in a big mess. And to talk about your messes, this is a mess here at Dover. Gene Samper now looks low on both Quentin Moore and Jessica Shelton. Shelton still cannot get the car to the low side of the track. Moore gets by, and so does uh, Gene Samper. Now there are three miles between them and Kev Shearer. Now Jess moves to the middle of the track now and gets by Kev Shearer. Now she's going to try to to duck in between um, Ryan Brommer and Zachary Fitzwater. She finally does. Shelton now, see what that's going to clock her this time by. Shelton now clocked in the clocked in the 17th position right now, number 9. She has slid back in points, a, a few positions in points 
the last few races, though, she would like to move her way back up. Meantime, we're 25 laps away from the finish right now. Mike Becker still leads. Seth Cole's now second. Osborne's in third spot. Fourth right now is Keith Badson. Levi McIntyre, fifth. Johnny Gardner and Zach, and Zach Rogers battle over position. Rogers is sixth. Gardner is seventh. And here comes Dylan Young up to eighth spot now as he gets by Jesse Turner. And Jay Jefferson, we haven't talked about him, him at all today. He runs in tenth position right now on that number 30 machine. With William Brock in the number four car running in 11th. 12th is Thiever. 13th is Matthews. Here comes Fitzwater for 14th as he goes by Jackson Haywood. Haywood now matching his car number in 15th position. Shelton up to 16th. Then you see some more cars back there. Gene Samper, Ryan Brommer, Cat Batson in 21. Kyle Langland in the 14 machine. Cap Shears dropped to 21st position. Quentin Moore in 22nd. Paul Minnick and Matt Haas it out back there. Matt McIntyre struggling today. He's running 25th at the moment, the two-time winner of the season so far. Three if you want to count the Winston All-Star race he won at Charlotte. He's won at Talladega, and he also he won the first stop at Talladega, and he also won the second stop at Darlington, the Southern 500 this season. But it has not been a good day so far for Matt McIntyre, the number 18 Interstate Battery Chevrolet. He runs right now in 25th position. Behind him is the 51 car of Alex Miller. He's gotten by Henry Sanford. Nathan Orman, who had a good qualifying run. He's, he's back to 28th position, I should say, in the 88 car. Charles Sanford up to 29th right now as he gets by Daniel Bouchard, who's uh, still on the lead lap here. Dylan Poteet. Zach Winkles back there. Wes McCoy. He's still two laps down. Rob Evans. Mitchell Collins. Austin Colano. And Hudson and Parker. complete this field rundown. Seth Cole, meantime, takes the lead in car number 52, and he's got Keith Batson behind him in car number 28. Seth looking for his first victory of this season. Keith Batson looking for his third win of the year. Trying to become the second driver to win three times this season. He won, he won as we mentioned, at the second race at Pocono. He also won He also won the, um, the day race at Bristol this season in what was a bit of a wreck fest in the Food City 500. That was way back to that was way back in the fifth race of the season. I should say the sixth race of the year. I should say at Bristol. I should say fifth race was at the first stop. Was the first stop this season at Darlington. Seth Cole. Meantime, he's been close a couple times this season, but he has not yet quite snatched the brass ring this season. So, and he would like to, you know, would like to do so. And that Eureka Becking clears Ponick. He has got coming off to number four now. Seventeen laps remaining in this race. Batson and McIntyre right there behind him, 28 and 17. McIntyre trying to move Batson up the track, and he does so. He'll stick that number 17 Chevy to the low side. I think I hear a car up ahead of um, Seth Cole. It is. It's Phil Parker. In the number five car, Parker right now running in 38th position, and he is currently, Parker is currently two laps down in this race here, here part of the three cars, here, the, they're just one of the three cars that are not on the lead lap, here 30, here, which the lead lap consists of 35 cars. Off the fourth turn they come here. Seth Cole completes another lap. That puts 46 on the board and the 14 laps remaining in this race. <clears throat> McIntyre's second position. Rogers is third. Batson is fourth. And Becker runs in fifth position. Sixth position battle going on here. Joshua Osborne's now gotten by gotten by Jesse Turner. And number 90. Here comes. Jefferson to the low side, the Brickyard 400 champion in car number 30. Should have been should have been a two-time winner season this this season. He he had the 600 at Charlotte all one till he ran out of gas under caution, come off the last corner, and gave the lead in the win to Gene Sanford in that race here. 
But like I said, at least in the Brickyard corner of the season, he made up for all that, though. Here, but Jefferson now loses a spot back to Jesse Turner. Meantime, behind him, Cole Beaver in the three, William Brock in the four. Battle it out here. Dylan Young and Kyle Matthews behind them. On board with Kyle Matthews in car 42. He's in 12th position right now. Off turn number two, they come here. Matthews dives low on Young. Saw that tag on the right there up to about 90, 100 RPMs going into turn number three. Boy, and he, they are revving these engines very high here at Dover. Ten laps to go. And now you're with Dylan Young in car number two. He's in 11th position up ahead of him is Cole Deaver in 10th. In front of that sound clip I played, the junior of what if they don't hurt junior, those giant those spores dude are not really giant. Those cars are the spores on those back of those cars are actually not all that big. <laughs> Meantime, Seth Cole trying to hold on though he has got eight laps to go. Zach Rogers, he's right there in second position. McIntyre at the third spot now. In the meantime, Joshua Osborne's taking fourth position away in number 25 as he's, as he's gotten by Keith Basson. Brings Jay Jefferson with him in the 30 machine. Jefferson in fifth. And here comes Rogers, low side for the lead on Seth Cole as they go to the third turn. Nathan Hudson up ahead in the number 47 machine. Rogers down low. Seth up the high side. Seth gets Seth completes the pass and keeps the lead, but Rogers is not giving up that number 30 car. Pontiac in first, Buick in second, Chevy in third. Rogers looks down low again. Now he says he says go. Seth says no. Five laps to go. I mean, it depends on who, how they get Biden Hudson here in that number 47 car. They're trapped behind him now in the 52. The 52 is now trapped behind the 47. What's going to happen they come off? Then they come off to number four. Who makes the move? Seth will go low. McIntyre moves Rogers up the track here. And Zach gets punted at the track. McIntyre up to second place now. And here comes McIntyre like a shot out of a cannon as they come off turn number four. Three laps remaining, and they, and they almost touch here between Rogers, Jefferson, and Hudson. And Levi McIntyre goes for the lead. He's got it going through turns one and two. Levi McIntyre, car 17 back out in front. He has not won a race yet this season. Can he do it at Dover? He's won here before. Two laps to go. It'll be the white flag this time by here. What's going to happen on that last lap here? What's Seth Cole going to do in the 52 machine? McIntyre has the lead for the moment. Osborne and Jefferson closing up in third, in third and fourth positions. White flag is out. In the peak and 400. Here comes Seth Cole to the left side of McIntyre again. He saw what Levi did in the last, in the last, last a couple of laps ago. And Seth Cole takes the lead. Here comes McIntyre. He's going he's gonna to try to high side on the track here. Come up, turn number four. Rob Evans up ahead. He's not going to be a factor. McIntyre looks slow. And Seth Cole wins the peak. And he frees 400 and Dover. Wow, what a battle these last couple laps. Levi McIntyre is going to be saying, what am I going to have to do to win a race this season? But meantime, Seth Cole has 
answer that question for himself. He wins the race on a last lap pass on Levi McIntyre to take the win. Hey, Neil. <clears throat> but what a finish that was here. Seth Cole gets his first victory of the season. It was a tremendous finish here at Dover Downs International Speedway. Average speed, 141.082. Third place, we'll go to Joshua Osborne. Fourth place, to Jay Jefferson. Jesse Turner comes home fifth. Sixth place, we'll go to Mike Becker. William Brock, seventh. Eighth, we'll go to Keith Batson. Zach Rogers, ninth. And Johnny Gardner comes home in tenth. In today's event. Then Cat Batson, Cole Deaver, Jackson Haywood, Zachary Fitzwater, Dylan Young, Kyle Langland, Jessica Shelton, Kyle Matthews, Gene Sambert, and Keb Shearer was the top 20 in today's event here. Well, I tell you, we have not had a finish like that at Dover and probably maybe ever in this series here. That was quite a race. Rest of the finishing order for you here. Quentin Moore was 21st, then Matt, Matt, then Matt Haas, Ryan Brommer, Paul Minnick, Matt McIntyre was 25th, Zach Winkle, Nathan Orman, Dylan Poti from 41st to 28th. Um, the Sanfords finished right together with Henry beating Charles out 29th to 30th. Then it's Alex Miller, Daniel Bouchard, Mitchell Collins, and Austin Colano was the last car to finish on the lead lap in 34th position. Here's and uh, cars that the, the cars that finish off the and the cars that did not finish on the lead lap 35th on down the 38th Nathan Hudson Rob Evans Wes McCoy and Phil Parker cars out of the race were Emmanuel Hardnett R J Bishop and Ryan George. So that will do it today at Dover Downs International Speedway in a tremendous finish here in a tremendous last lap duel. Seth Cole defeats Levi McIntyre battle of the drivers that were going for their first wins this season. Like I said, Levi's got to be thinking, what am I going to have to do to win a race this season? Because he's been close several times, including today. Hadley on the last up, then Seth Cole got a run on the inside in turn number one and beat him. Here, so, uh, so, so congratulations again to Seth Cole, the winner of today's Peak Any Freeze 400. If you like what you see here, be sure to, be sure to subscribe to the, to the NSDR Sports and Gaming channel. We got everything on this channel. We got NRSS gaming videos in our online races. Whatever the president of the United Series, Seth Cole, and the whatever the president of the United Series and winner of the race today's race, Seth Cole, desires for this channel. Be sure to like the page on. Um, be sure to like the page on Facebook and also like also subscribe to this this channel on YouTube as well. Um, <clears throat> you know, also be sure to check out Seth's Duracell Cup Series, which is in full swing, and I guarantee his races are a lot better than what I have to offer too. And so that will do it today at Dover Downs International Speedway. For now, this is, this is James Qualls. This, is, this has been a production of the NSCRA. Off on racing at its best. We will see you on the, on the, on the flat track that is Martinsville.